Hi there, my name is Rajat and this is my second update video of me coming back to India from the US. So sort of I took the semester break off. If you guys haven't watched my first video, I'm just giving you a little hint of why I'm why I'm making this video. So I came back from the US to back to India because I was not good doing great doing quite great in the university. So I came back. So since I came back, I made my first video in March. I think that was on 20 on 17th March. Now this is my second update video. So since I coming back from in February, March, April, and today is I guess 8th May. It's been almost yeah over three months. So what have I done in three months? In the last video, I talked about starting my nano degrees, uh, starting my certifications, and everything. So I completed my two nano degrees in April. I completed my Coursera certification for JavaScript in April. Then I completed two other courses from Udemy, that's for JavaScript and website development. So I'm working, I'm really working hard with the JavaScript part. I like JavaScript, right, right now I'm working on the JavaScript frameworks, I'm learning Angular and React. React is really good. And yeah, apart from that, I also completed my Java training that was at Technosoft Informatics. So I took the training over there for Java and I built up some good projects. I still haven't completed two projects. I'm still working on those projects. So it's, it's going to be a work in progress. Apart from that, what have I done? Yeah. So the biggest update on my profiles, on my, not my social media profiles, that's like personal profile like Facebook, Instagram. Apart from those two profiles, my LinkedIn, my GitHub, my HackerRank, and a couple of more websites that I usually, that I haven't used so much for my, for building my professional, for building my professional portfolio. So I have really made a strong resume by building up these profiles. So when, when uh, so while I was in the US, when our employer asked me for one of these accounts, I did share the link, but it had nothing on it. But now it has projects on it, it has a proper description of what I've done, what that project is about. I'm participating into competitions and then hacker rank challenges every week or so, so that I can build my portfolio and be my, and like get my impact over there. Yeah, so I've been building my portfolio. And so the one question that like you might ask me or my my you know my sister asked me is that why are you studying online why are you working on these certifications so why are you paying for them so my answer to that question is that you know i graduated last year from my bachelor's degree and i didn't have experience because i didn't want to get into getting a job and getting responsibilities right out of my undergraduate and i wanted to get out of india and like be, become an independent person before i get a job because if I was getting a job in India, that would mean. So, another story, I didn't want to work right out of my college. So, I planned my MS and then that. So, the biggest drawback of me and my colleagues or my peers in the university was that most of them had experience of at least one year. And that's the biggest disadvantage I have that I don't have experience. Not experience, I don't have projects that I have worked on prior or during my undergraduate because all I did was have fun. So in these six months and three months from the past, I've been working on my projects really well. I'm writing a good description, prop, uh, following proper methodologies that are used in building up these projects. So I've been working on those parts because that's the part where I lack. I don't have projects and I don't have enough experience. So what I, what I did was instead of uh, like getting proper job experience that I know I could not in six months. So what I did was I started building a project. I took up some ideas from the, from the web, I took up some of, some of my ideas, then I started building on them and then I realized that these are the kind of projects are gonna help me when I, because I can show these to employers on my LinkedIn and on my GitHub profiles and they represent my work. Because I don't have job experience, I can show them these projects that I've worked on myself without any help or access from any other like company or something like that. So that's the biggest, biggest reason of me getting certifications. All right, I guess that's it for the video. And yeah, one more update. I'm working on two more websites. One is gonna be my portfolio and the other one is gonna be something different. 
let's see all right i'll see you guys in the next update thank you for watching have a great year